Hi, I'm Michael Gross, host of the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network. The Baltimore and Ohio Railroad began track construction in October 1828. By the time the 13-mile single line from Mount Clare to Ellicott's Mills was finished in 1830, three impressive stone viaducts were complete, many Irish track workers had perished, and the country's first railroad labor skirmishes had already begun. We're in the North Car Shop of the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad Museum, which was used to build passenger cars. Now, part of the oldest continuously operated railroad shops in the world, the Mount Clare shops in Baltimore were home to hundreds of buildings, offices, and shops dedicated to the invention, construction, maintenance, and repair of the railroad. The B&O constructed its passenger car works building between 1869 and 1871 to build, paint, and repair passenger cars. First mentioned in the 1869 B&O annual report, the North Car Shop was described as being 277 feet long and 90 feet wide, covering more than 20,000 square feet. The annual report also reported that an additional section, 378 feet long and 95 feet wide, was under construction and consisted of two stories, a ground floor and a basement. This portion was eventually completed in 1871 and is now known as the South Car Shop. This massive L-shaped structure featured 19 large wooden car doors, 14 of which were part of the South Shop. The interior walls were originally painted black below the window sills and white above to reflect natural light shining through the windows. During the winter season, steam heat warmed the building through cast iron radiators. Between the bays in the North Car Shop, cast iron pots supported scaffolding used by workers to reach the upper portions of cars. An article in the 1872 Railroad Gazette referred to the structure as the finest in the country. Despite this accolade, the article explained that the basement of the South Shop, which featured the paint vault, mixing and varnishing rooms, was defective in its arrangement for ventilation and therefore unhealthy for the workers. On September 1st, 1896, what B&O station opened in North Baltimore? Okay, honey, this will make you feel better. Getting your kids oh, to take my. their medicine is not easy. Please, for A my. child's sense of taste is much more intense than an adult's. <laughs> 85% of children have problems tolerating the taste of medicines. That's why a pharmacist developed Flavor-X, 42 great tasting, safe, FDA approved flavors that don't affect the medicine, but makes it go down easy. Flavor-X is available at all major pharmacies. Tell your pharmacist to Flavor-X your child's medicine. All aboard. Kids Fest Weekend is coming to the B&O Railroad Museum, Saturday, September 18th, and Sunday, September 19th. Discover the adventure and magic of American railroading. Special activities, train rides, and children's entertainment all throughout the weekend. Live performances by the kids' band Milkshake. A trainload of fun for the whole family. On September 1st, 1896, Mount Royal Station opened in North Baltimore. By the time the passenger car work structure was completed in the 1870s, the B&O passenger car department was producing roughly three cars per month. Many were constructed in a shop located where the present-day museum roundhouse sits, then moved to the passenger car works for painting and finishing with chocolate brown paint and gold trim. By 1880, the B&O laid off 300 Mount Clare workers when it contracted sleeping car construction to the Pullman Palace Car Manufacturing Company. A year later, the company decided to outsource passenger car construction to companies like Jackson and Sharp of Delaware. Even with outside contracts, the shops occasionally produced passenger cars from scratch and remained an important repair and rebuilding facility into the 20th century. In the 1930s, streamlining and air conditioning installation became a major component of the work in the shops. 
By 1949, Montclair's passenger car department generally consisted of shops for car repair, paint, electricity, upholstery, cabinetry, and air conditioning. The passenger car department at that time employed 263 workers out of a total of 1,546 at Mount Clare. With this crew, the B&O rebuilt or repaired approximately 14 cars every month. This is Michael Gross. Thanks for joining us today on the B&O Railroad Museum Television Network.